This week on Loyal TV, we tell you the story of how a World War II submarine made its way from the Western Pacific to a park in Muskogee, Oklahoma. When you live on a World War II submarine, you are out for 65 days at a time. You form these bonds that closer than family. These guys love each other. This is an element of history that no one talks about. You're not taught submarine service in school. You're not taught about the bad fish destroying three submarines in 76 hours. Submarines have always been protecting our freedom since we've had them in the Navy since 1900. So why not come through and learn about what these guys had to go through and think about what they're going through now? Batfish serves six war patrols. It goes on its first war patrol at the beginning of 1944 in January, and they're successful. It destroys two enemy vessels during that period. They're under the command of Wayne Merrill. After the second war patrol, he's the, one of the only skippers that comes back and gets a star, which means a significant achievement. So they promote him and then demote him at the same time. Jake Fife takes over. Jake Fife is a young skipper. By young, I mean like 32. Jake Fife knows how to bring that attack. And immediately, he just starts getting in kills after kills. And you know the, the men on board are just going crazy with excitement. When you were in port, you had to show off what you did. So Bob Glacey, he's the guy that famously in this photo, he's sitting in the torpedo room and he's sitting there sewing. And every time the batfish had a kill, you put on a new Japanese flag. And so if you look at our flag, you'll see the, the merchant marines, you'll see the imperial, and then you'll see a couple experimental torpedoes, and then you'll see a couple things that signify that we shot other things. And this was a symbol of pride. And so much so that if you ever see one of these guys out here and they're not wearing that flag in some form of clothing, then they must have, something must have happened to them. Batfish is significant throughout seven war patrols. It has 15 kills and it rescues three downed pilots, which is a, by no means the lesser feat than anything else. But the most well-known feat is that it sunk three Japanese submarines in 76 hours. Most people went their entire wartime career never seeing one submarine, let alone three, and then sinking said three. ULTRA, which is the British intelligence agency, it sends a message over to the fleet and it says, hey, uh, a bunch of the Japanese are coming to evacuate people from the Philippines because we're invading the Philippines at this point. This is in February of 1945. They've been ordered for their submarines to pick them up so they won't be seen. They ordered their submarines to get rid of most of their ammunition, except save for a few torpedoes. So the Batfish is right in that area. And they basically say, you guys got about four submarines in your area. Good luck hunting. Six War Patrol presidential unit citation, they actually receive a call from the president and they get congratulated. There's an old show called The Navy Hour. It was a radio show. The Batfish is mentioned on there. So people around the country know about this. So uh, after that 7th War Patrol, you have a new skipper. Jake Fife is, is transferred. He's being promoted up. The new skipper is Walter Small. This is happening during the, the last part of the war. The, the War Patrol reports report that during August, they see a bright flash of light across the horizon. So they actually got to see that. Secondly, they rescued three downed pilots. So one of the guys, Robert Bleacher, he was rescued by this boat. So the protocol was that you could be sure that you could fly your plane and bomb the Japanese islands. And if you had a got, if you got shot down or you evacuated, there would be a submarine in the area that could pick you up. And that's what happened here. So this guy would come out here every year until his passing to pay tribute to these men, which was beautiful. It is decommissioned in 1946, and it's, it goes into the inactive fleet reserve. So basically, they spray the whole boat with a preservative, and the batfish waits for the next war. And that war is the Korean conflict. So as that starts heating up, we're doing a lot of anti-submarine operations around Cuba. The batfish is decommissioned from this point in 1958 and put into the reserve again. And at this point, it becomes a training vessel. So the, it serves as a training vessel from 1959 all the way until 1966. When they put it in what they call mothballs, which is basically where your ships go to die, it's in Port Orange, Texas. And at that point, our memorial system kind of starts up. At the same point in time, we're building the McKellen Curve River expansion system in Oklahoma. And what that is, it allows you to ship from the Gulf of Mexico all the way to Catoosa, Muskogee, all the way to the Great Lakes if you want. So they, they begin transporting it up, and this is all in 1972. So it, it comes out here. We have the Arkansas River and the, the Three River Connection right here. And it's stationed at the port, which is right around the corner from us. And that's where it rests in, from May 4th, 1972 until 1973. So at this point, it gets the attention of Admiral Kirkpatrick. 
and they're able to use two cranes, a tugboat, and they dig a trench, and they bring the bad fish into the bowl that we're in now, and they drain it all out, and it's here. We have a 93-year-old guy that comes out here at least once a month. He has a crutch, and he walks really slow. Lovable guy. But when he gets on board here, he leaves his crutch on the surface, and he just jolts through here. It's some kind of energy that you've never seen before. It's stuff like that that just, that warms my heart. These guys, they're amazing breed. And, you know, they have their photos out here and we love preserving their photos and showing their photos to the public. And when, when they die, these guys contact us so we can scatter their ashes here. That's how serious it is. It needs to be stated that we lost 52 submarines during World War II. So out of 288 submarines that served, we lost 52. 3,505 sailors. It's important to learn this because today, this very moment that we're sitting here free in America, there are submarines patrolling the entire world. They keep us free. We hope you enjoyed your voyage this week and that you'll come back for another adventure as we keep bringing you the best Oklahoma stories you've never heard here on Loyal TV.